What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Super Showdown predictions. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I try to leave the uh, secondary stuff out. Most people that know me know how I feel about this show. I really don't watch it. I try to avoid that it exists. But I guess if I'm going to do WWE content, I kind of need to preview and review it. So I'm going to watch this show tomorrow. I admittedly am not a big fan. So I'm just going to get that out and be a little more to the point during this this, uh, prediction video than I normally am for that reason. So shall we get started? Updated card. I actually had to record this again because there's... Some been some changes. Some matches were added. So, shall we? Let's see uh, what we can start with. Hello. So, we'll start with the obvious. I'm just going to... The, the easiest match on this card is Dolph Ziggler. Mansoor. Hmm, I wonder who's going to win that. Someone told me the last time. Someone told me the last time Ziggler's won a match, first of all. Singles, an important match. Second, this is a guy, like, I love Ziggler. I really, really do. He's underappreciated. He's going to lose this match. It's just to put over a local guy, give the, you know, a win in front of the, the home crowd, Easiest match on this card, in my opinion, to call. Super simple. Let's get it out the way. Ziggler loses, as he always does. Unfortunately, he's gonna make the he's gonna sell the guy, make him look good, but he's gonna lose. Easy. Viking Raiders versus Luke Gallows and Anderson. The OC has been kind of a weird one. They've kind of they win the tag titles. AJ wins. Um, you no know, mid card title was United States Championship. Titles drop. It's just their momentum has been kind of squashed. Um, I know that AJ kind of has a thing with Alistair Black. We're gonna get a match leading to that soon. I'm sure. I don't think I don't. I haven't heard anything about it officially being announced, but it's trending that way. Jump him in the back. I think it's safe to assume. Viking Raiders are still over. Uh, Gallows and Anderson, like I said, they just, they've kind of lost the momentum with the OC. They're going to lose. Viking Raiders are going to go over look good. Another match I think is fairly easy to call since we can assume no interference. Um, and if there was potentially uh, Alistair interfering to even the odds, thus the Viking Raiders still win anyway. Viking Raiders won. Angel Garza versus Humberto. I like Angel Garza, you know, with Andrade being suspended. You've had Vega with him um, being an asset, you know, one of her clients. Um, I can, I expect him to win this match as well, continue to get him some momentum. Don't know if he eventually is going to be a mainstay on Raw, if he's going to stay down in NXT, what they do with him now that Andrade's suspension should be over. Um, curious kind of to see that if it involves both their characters a little bit more, maybe it ultimately leads to Garza facing Andrade. I wouldn't be opposed to that, but I think that regardless of what circumstances are outside the ring, even if it's one-on-one with no interference, I don't know if Vega's going to be there because of other things, but, um, I expect him to go over again. He's been kind of getting this little push. It's helping keep Vega a mainstay on Raw, and he's getting some shine from it. There's a bad thing about the suspension is it sets Andrade back. You kind of expect him to lose the title, but, I mean, they didn't have him drop the title before he got suspended. But kind of seeing that negative light a little bit, it's given the opportunity for someone else to shine. So, hey, you take it where you can get it, right? Angel Garza continues to roll. Up next, we can we're gonna start slowly start getting towards actual title matches. The steel cage match, Reigns and Corbin. Oh my god, this feud is still going on. 
why is this feud still going on? Um, and it's not over. I can almost guarantee you. Um, it's going to continue in the elimination chamber. It's going to continue in the elimination chamber. Um, but no interference. I expect Reigns to win again. He's going to go over. Elimination chamber is a whole nother conversation. But tomorrow, Reigns gets that pin, gets the dub. GG's. Another win, starting to build some momentum as we go into Elimination Chamber. And there are certain expectations from that match. You all can imagine, I think Reigns is going to get the W. He needs to. Now, before we get into the title matches, we have the, the trophy gauntlet match. You have AJ Styles, Andrade, Rey Mysterio, Lashley. Rowan and R Truth. R Truth? No. I know they've been kind of pushing him, you know, John Cena being his hero and stuff. Don't see it. Andrade coming back. So again, I wonder because he's seen in kind of a negative light, how does that play out? And things were perfect in this match, and you're giving the fans what they want. Andrade and Ray should start this match and put on a clinic. Thus, they both are going to be eliminated. They're not going to win. So those two are out, um, in my opinion, as is our truth. So that leaves Rowan, Lashley, and AJ. Rowan, he just, lose, he just lost to Aleister Black. And I kind of stunned his momentum. I still am kind of in shock at the Royal Rumble, how quickly he was eliminated by Lesnar. It is a real shock to me. You're building him out as a monster, and then he just yeah, over the top rope just like that. I'm not seeing that. That leaves AJ and Bobby. I expect, kind of expecting those to be the last two. I could kind of see how it would be Bobby and R-Truth just to kind of set up that underdog for Truth. Lashley, I... Uh, I almost want to say Lashley's not going to win just because like, I'm not expecting him to get momentum leaving this show, but I kind of expect Lashley to start getting that momentum to be built as this monster character, if not potentially for Brock, which we still haven't got Brock versus Bobby McIntyre given things. Just, just saying. But I expect Lashley to win this match. It's going to come down to Lashley or AJ, in my opinion, as far as viable winners. I, I, but I, I personally will say I would love for the match to start with Andrade and Ray. They have great chemistry in the ring. Their matches have always been great. Interference or not, that's what I'm looking at. Lashley. Now we go into the title matches. We'll start with the tag titles. Raw. The Monday Night Messiah. Seth Rollins, Murphy against the Street Profits. Street Profits, super popular. If we're going to build with Rollins, they're going to have to drop the tag title soon enough. While I do want the Street Profits to win, I'm not sure now is the time to do it. Uh, Elimination Chamber seems like a good time. We already have the main event on, you know, at WrestleMania built. What can we do from a raw side for the Elimination Chamber? Maybe a rematch. Shenanigans. But I think the Street Profits will have to continue to chase Rollins and Murphy. Find a way. I have a feeling that... I have a feeling just as a hunch. I don't know. But I just have a hunch that this is going to continue a little bit longer. But if you're going to build up Rollins, keep that build a little bit longer. Before we start to build him as a singles guy, I know he's been hurt, nursing some injuries. So the tag matches, kind of, tag matches, you know, can help. Um, I, I expect him to retain after pay per view. Don't see a title change. SmackDown, interesting. New Day against Miz and Morrison. I actually think this could be a really, really good match. I love the chemistry that Morrison can have with a guy like Kofi, the Miz, the glue in the match, and you have the powerhouse in Mr. Biggie. This is going to be a fun match. I think this could actually be end up being the best match on the card, given what happens in the gauntlet match. Cause it's kind of separate matches, but 
you know, collectively, if you get Ray and Andrade, I think that's a big win. Um, I think this match is going to be the match of the night day. The, the, well, night for them, day for us. Um, I kind of am... I don't know if they pulled the trigger on that. Like, I, I we all like the New Day. They're still, you know, still drawing. They have nice balance, Kim, uh, Kofi and Big E, and it still gives them something to do. I don't know what happens if they were to drop the titles right now. Um, maybe it's building towards a multi-man match at Meg, uh, Meg Man, WrestleMania. He's way off. But I almost feel like Miz and Morrison could win this match, but I think the I think the New Day retains. I think it's a a fun finish and I think it's gonna be a, a match with some good spots. You got the parkour stuff with Mr. Morrison. Kofi will have some big spots as well, but I think the New Day find a way to close it out. Titles retain. No title changes yet. Women's championship. Now there is an interesting one there, right? Actually let me plug up my headset before it dies. ever do this so i need to make sure i have it now so yeah we got three matches left women's championship this is an interesting one for lots of reasons so bailey against naomi the first women's match last time natalia and Lacey, if i remember correctly big moment but now a championship match bailey the heel losing some of her luster losing some of the momentum like i said earlier talking about the royal rumble part of a run as a champion isn't always about what you can do it's about who you're able to work with and she has not been given the best necessary i would say um i don't want to be disrespectful but i don't feel like her opponents have really helped her to help build her into a more credible a more credible heel um, sinister tactics, sure, but the matches just haven't been what you're what you've been hoping for. We know what Bailey can do in the ring, but it just hasn't connected with her opponents. Enter Naomi returning from injury, some personal issues. Um, I think it would be really cool for the belt to change hands. So believe it or not, I'm actually going to say the belt changes hands. I don't think it stays for long. I think Bailey may win it back. Um, I want, I really want this Bailey heel turn to work, but I think just the first women's championship match that a title turn would be huge. I, I'm going to go with Naomi winning. It's a shot in the dark. I wouldn't be surprised to see Bailey retain, but Naomi winning also wouldn't surprise me because it'd be a big moment. And we all know the WWE sometimes they don't, I wouldn't necessarily say they don't go for the logical picture because that's not for me to say. I'm not part of creative, but moments do play a role in a lot of outcomes, I feel, especially at big pay-per-views. What more fitting than the first ever women's championship match in Saudi Arabia that Naomi wins the championship? I think that'd be a pretty cool moment. So I see them going with the moment Naomi wins. Have our championship matches, too. Let's start with the obvious one. Brock Lesnar and Ricochet. Ricochet will, it will not be a squash in the sense that Ricochet will get some offense in. He'll give Brock that brief moment where you think maybe, and then dreams get crushed. Maybe multiple F5s. There's going to be a lot of suplexes. I kind of expect Ricochet to get another kick to the nuts. That may start him getting a little bit of momentum going in the match. Brock wins. I, there's no way Brock loses this match. They've already started to build with McIntyre and Brock. You just kind of know as a wrestling fan. There's some things that are built. This is a slight detour. They try to sell it as, you know, maybe, just maybe it's not going to happen. Now, if it had been Bobby Lashley, maybe we're having a different conversation. But Ricochet, no. Nah. But give him a chance get some offense in. Brock wins. And then a final match. Goldberg getting his rematch that he never got. Against the Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Now this match, promise. I've a lot of people have been coming in chat 
the last week or so, week and a half, really concerned that Goldberg is going to win the title. I don't think so. I think Wyatt wins this match. It won't be convincing. I don't think he'll know so as much as he did against Daniel Bryan. But even when you saw when he got hit with the spear on SmackDown, you could hear him like, you know, he's just not, I'm not laughing, but still maniacal, like wanting more. You know, lights go out and he disappears and you have to laugh. Bray's going to win this match. I think it's cool that Goldberg is going to be in this spot. And I'm kind of curious to see because a lot of Goldberg's matches are short. So, I mean, how does it play out? You know, hit the quick spears early and then no sell. Is it going to be a little bit longer? Will break it to have moments of dominance in this match? When Goldberg came back, you had the short match against Lesnar to win the championship. You had the short match against Kevin Owens. The WrestleMania match was short. And then the match with Ziggler was short too. Taker. Bray Wyatt wins. I know that's not a popular opinion. A lot of people are super concerned. I don't think they're going to take the title off of Bray. People, I kind of look at it as when Goldberg signed a contract, it was a lucrative contract. He's doing X amount of shows. To me, this is just one. And who else were you going to have him face? Anyone else that you have him face is a mid-card guy. If he's facing a top guy, like, say, a Roman Reigns, um, can do cross brand. You could have did Bobby Lashley. That would have been an interesting match. But I feel this is a good spot. It helps build Wyatt. You can still have him. You have Goldberg lose and not really lose anything. I mean, he lost to Taker. A legend. He loses to Bray. Bray's been this unbeatable monster. It helps build Bray up going into WrestleMania. So I still think he retains. I don't know if that's the match to close it out the show. But I'm confident that Bray is going to retain that championship. Very confident that Bray retains the championship. That is all. I will be watching Thursday morning. I may do a recap video immediately after before I go live with a stream so it's up. I know it'll be talked about for sure, but I'll be watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry it went longer than expected. I'll have some more YouTube video coming out later this week. Uh, Corey NBA has requested two videos, top five taker matches and top five WrestleMania matches of all time. We'll talk about those. Strikeout has asked for ring psychology, like how exactly a match is built from a wrestler's perspective. Since I'm a wrestler, um, I'm going to talk about that in some detail. Should be a fun stream. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the pay-per-view and I'll catch you later.